Okay, so there's several different ways to explain this. One is you put your hands out to the side and you lean and touch your toe. But notice your body can't physically lean any farther than that, especially mine, because I have 11 vertebrae fused together. So the only way you can touch your toe is if your hips turn. Then you can very easily touch your toe. But your chest has to stay facing the camera or that way. So you lean and touch your toe. Now, by your hips turning, that also means you're in the perfect posture to run that way. So you lean and run, lean and run. Now, another way to think about it is just to rest an elbow on the knee, elbow to the knee. Now, everybody wants to crouch when they do it and that eliminates what you just did. So your butt has to go up. Elbow comes down, butt goes up, but you gotta keep the shoulder back. If you drop the shoulder, it hooks the riser and eliminates what you just did. So that shoulder has to stay back, elbow to the knee. And if you just rest your elbow on the knee, it's actually an extremely comfortable position. You're used to doing that. So at first everybody thinks, oh, my body can't lean that way. But actually it's a really comfortable, just rest your elbow on your knee. So lean, walk, pull, that's the weight shift part of it. And it's much more difficult than it sounds which is why people generally don't get it until day five. Some of the sharper people will get it by day two, but that's pretty rare. And usually the guys get it by day two have forgotten it by day three and still take by day five to actually get it. So the, it's quite difficult, which is why almost no other instructors can actually do it. They can't do it. And if you don't do it, you keep stalling the glider over and over and over. Because if you don't do it right, you're not just wrong, you're backwards to what's correct. Because if the glider falls to the right, the left riser is being made shorter than the right riser automatically. And that's telling the glider to slam into the ground. So you have to do it absolutely perfect. And you can't learn it from someone who doesn't know it. Like I was talking to a guy yesterday who got scammed by Kurt Fister and he'd been crashing and getting his bones broken for 15 years and he's like oh yeah i can do that but finally he went out and tried it and realized of course he can't do it you don't learn by time you don't just figure these things out over the course of doing it you have to actually learn it correctly so that you practice it correctly so it's very very important that we implement it and get it correct right up front so 15 years from now, you're a master pilot instead of still suck and can't even do it.